Now this is significant. But if that's an error for the Quran, what are you going to do about, I, th I believe it's Matthew chapter 23, where Jesus claimed the Jews killed Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, between the altar. But if you go to the Old Testament, it wasn't Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, who died near the altar. It was Zechariah, the son of Jehodiah. Surah 19. This is Surah Miriam. This is named after Mary in this chapter of the Quran. At length, she brought him the infant to her people, carrying him. They said, O oh Mary, truly a villainous thing you have done. O oh sister of Aaron. Now, this is significant because, of course, Miriam, where did they get this idea that she was the sister of Aaron? Is it confusing Miriam with Miriam, the sister of Moses? Uh, and Muslims will typically say, oh no, this is just talking about how she was of the tribe of Aaron and that she, that's saying, uh, you, this, is, this, is, this behavior um, um, of, of um, unchasteness um, is not befitting for someone who's of the tribe of Aaron. They'll sometimes say something to that effect. If you read Surah 66, 12, it says that she was the daughter of Amram who was the father of Moses. So that, these two, two texts together suggest that, that uh, Mary really was confused by Muhammad with Miriam, the sister of Moses. He says the Quran got mixed up regarding the sister of Aaron, but in the Quranic language, when somebody's from the, the tribe of someone, they can be called the brother or sister of that person. So we believe that uh, Mary was from the tribe of Levi, which second century Christian sources confirm. So the earliest biographies we got of Mary claim she was from Levi, not from Judah. So we believe that she was called sister of Aaron in the sense of being from the tribe of Aaron. But if that's an error for the Quran, what are you going to do about, I, th I believe it's Matthew chapter 23, where Jesus claimed the Jews killed Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, between the altar. But if you go to the Old Testament, it wasn't Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, who died near the altar. It was Zechariah, the son of Jehodiah. Now, this is significant. It's just a Semitic figure of speech. So when Mary came with that baby and these people were shocked that this woman's not married, she's got a baby, they said to her, oh, sister of Aaron, in other words, you're from the high priestly family of Aaron. How could you be coming without being married with a baby? That's all that was being pointed out. And I've also pointed out that Jesus made a mix-up in the New Testament to which you never even bothered responding. Was it Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, who Jesus claimed? Or was it the Old Testament, Zechariah, son of Jehodiah? So your old argument goes against you. The concept of the Trinity only came up after Christians already accepted the deity of Jesus. It was an effort, a philosophical effort, to justify something they believed already, an absurdity they believed already. To believe a man is God, they had to come up with an idea of the Trinity. It wasn't that they first came up with an idea of the Trinity and then they said, oh, Jesus is the one that fits into the Trinity. Before Jesus came to the world, no one thought of the Trinity. So the Trinity is a, a, an excuse for idolatry. 